Hello everyone, Brian Trepenia here. Just going to quickly go over through the process of making a 360 video for YouTube. Uh, so here we have a scene that's already set up uh, and we're in Blender Render. Uh, first thing we want to do is get ourselves the 360 Blender Spheres, pick up this Mediafire address, take a look. And uh, once you've got that, you just import or append one of the spheres whichever choice you want. I'm going to go with the 5K, uh, go into Object, Sphere, Append from Library. And there it is. There's our uh, sphere, which is going to effectively be the camera. Uh, right now it's going to pump it out at 5K, which is a little big. So we're going to split the screen and turn this into a UV editor and uh, we'll make a new make a new file and uh, just create the size that you want, put the sizes uh, 30, 8, 40, and 19, 20. This should do. And we can uh, now save, save as image and uh, inside of Blender files, it would be inside of, um, what we want to do is, because uh, it's automatically, this sphere will automatically, when you bake, and that's what you're going to be doing is baking this image to it. It's going to bake to uh, the 5K called Epi Rectangular. So with this uh, this selected uh, and, and, and down in Bake, which is right down at the bottom for me, uh, you can just press Bake and it's going to write it to that. It'll take a little bit and it's going to be, uh, oh, this guy's head's disappeared, look at that. That's okay. Just singer anyways. They don't really need their heads. They just need their throats. Throats and singers. Here he's not a singer though. Here he's just a, a guitar player. Um, which is even less complicated than being a singer. Of course over here with the drums, that's where that's where all the complexity of musicianship comes in, into play. Uh, bass is even less complex than guitar, and guitar is less complex than singing, and singing is like way below drums as far as complexity. Uh, I don't make the rules, it's just the way it is. Uh, so over here we see the image, it's uh, rendering out at uh, the five, five K. I didn't want it at 5K, I just wanted it at 4K, but we'll deal with it. Take it like this and uh, maybe I'll just swap it out after. So this is creating an echo rectangular of this particular scene here, which is all of that that you see there. And because we're in Blender Render, the internal engine, we can't actually put an alpha channel while baking. Okay, so now we have that image and it's been saved. Uh, it hasn't been saved yet, but we'll save as image. And, uh, and uh, we'll leave them up. We'll just leave it like that. We'll use this one here called characters, which is inside the tutorial. So uh, cancel. So we don't even need to save that one. Uh, but that's how you would create it. Is you got that sphere that you appended from the, uh, from the sphere, from the zip file when you brought that in. You just appended it from that blend file. And uh, it's a mirror, just a ball. Uh, mirror and you've just baked the scenery to it and you've created an image. So now uh, down here we're going to want to put a, a nadir uh, image, nadir being the uh, opposite of zenith. Uh, so we're going to uh, go into the prefab nadir scene right here. We don't need this open here now. Uh, okay, uh, we're going to just put a image as plain, so take phonemes. That'll be our super duper image. And uh, turn on material. And we're in cycles render for this one. And uh, we got ourselves image transparent. I uh, want to make this like a uh, new mission. Can do emission and still have an image. Looks like it, looks like it, looking good so far. Where's this word phonemes, there it is. Okay, and uh, so it's emission. So now with this, we'll just R, X, 90. So it's laying down underneath. So it's basically the floor. Now this camera here has already been set up. Uh, it's a panoramic uh, equi rectangular. And uh, so now I just have to, uh, to, I guess, render the scene is all to do. So F12, let's see what happens. Oh, there it goes. See, it's rendered along the bottom, um, creating that image. 100%, 100%, how long, how, how many 100%s do we get? We get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 100%. So it's continuing, and soon it will disappear, and then we can actually save that image. There, it's gone now, so now we can 
save the image and we will save it here as uh, as a PNG or GBA uh, characters. No, we'll put this as neater. Save as image neater. Okay, so uh, with those two, we can now come on into the video editing. One frame a second. Actually, we don't even need that. And over top of that, we'll throw this uh, other image, the nader. And uh, make it an alpha over. And there you go. So that's what it'll look like. It'll cover up your feet a bit, but that's fine for what we got. Now I can just render a still of that off. And uh, that's it. I'll just save that image. Size let me. Why do you keep giving me an EXR? Let's go to all troops. Save as image. Okay, cool. So uh, now you got yourself. Oops. Here. Now we got ourselves that part. We can uh, pop on into. Uh, this is Reaper, and in Reaper we'll just uh, bring in the all. Well, first we'll create a couple of tracks. Actually, let's create, uh, let's create uh, three tracks. This one will route it to four. This one we will route to four. And the other one doesn't matter. And uh, render files, where is that? VR project tutorial. We'll uh, throw in the all PNG onto this one. How long is this? It's one second, huh? So we can make it. Oh, we'll just do it one second. That's where we make it that long. And on the other track, we'll throw. Uh, so we'll go to uh, Reaper Media. I'll grab it out of this song one. We'll put uh, we'll put bass onto this track. And we'll put some uh, drum onto this track. It doesn't look like we've got any drum happening there yet. Let's move this over here. Now we got some drums, so as far as what we'll render out, it will be that area. Where are you? Piss off. Okay, uh, so with this track here selected, we'll go to FX and uh, we'll pick uh, we'll pick the four channel, one to four. Okay. And now what this does is let you place that particular one in your 3D space. This is now facing, if you're facing forward, it's at eye level, ear level, head level, facing forward. And this would be behind you. This is to your uh, left and this is to your right. And then you have elevation as well, where it can go under the ground or on top and uh, keep it there. And uh, so we'll put, we can put the drum over there. That's good. And then we can, uh, this one here will take the same one to four. We move that over this way. And uh, then we're just gonna go to, let's make sure that we've got it all in. Sure it does. Render and uh, browse for, yeah, right there's fine. And we'll call this two tutorial and uh, we want four channels and what's happening here is when this mixes down is anything that has been assigned to the front left right or whatever it doesn't matter how many tracks you have on on this setup it'll just get mixed down to where uh, the top track is front back track two is left right up down and forward back I don't know this four oh no the first one is all well it has a mix of everything and then uh, that way, when you move your head around, you know, the instruments that stay in a place, but you'll hear them in different ears and stuff like that. 
Uh, so that's called ambisonic uh, first order because there's only four tracks. You can have ambisonic second order and ambisonic third order, which is 16 tracks. Uh, so we're going to output out of Reaper as a movie, MP4, H264, and uh, AAC, and um, it's just going to be this little part here. So we don't want the entire project. We just want the time selection and we want the master mix. So this here is the sound that we're going to get. And H264, AAC, Q. No, this size is incorrect. 3840 and 1920, and we don't need, we can put it at one frame per second. And there, we just rendered it all out. So now we have a movie file. Maybe an AVI tutorial move. So there it is. Uh, so That's what it looks like, that's as long as it takes, but it uh, doesn't obviously work properly. So now just go and take your spatial media metadata injector and you go and you open up that file. Drums, Testo2, EVI, and you open that one up. And when you open that one up, it gives you, says, is this a spherical? Yes, it's a spherical video. And oh, we also have, no, it's not stereoscopic. Um, it could be, but not a very big deal to make it uh, uh, 3D. So yeah, natural depth, but it does have spatial audio, which we just cre created inside of uh, Reaper. So inject metadata. It's gonna say tutorial underscore injected and sure with a save. And so now we have a video that is 360 and can be uploaded with uh, spatial audio. Actually, I should have reversed it because when you uh, render with the spheres, it's it's a mirror, so it's backwards. So, you know, just flip the uh, horizontal in Blender. And then we got ourselves the Nader down here. And, uh, you know, you can put a logo, whatever you want. And uh, the sky, and if it was an animation, they'd be singing and dancing and playing around. So there you go. 360 video created, ready to go into YouTube, and YouTube will take care of the rest.